Hey guys, every year for Halloween, we have some neighbors over before we go trick or treating and I love to surprise the kids with a new Halloween treat. I've been experimenting all week long and finally settled on these chocolate apples. The best part is, the more creative your kids get, the more fun they turn out. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's go through our ingredients. You'll need chocolate candy melts, apples, lollipop sticks and ribbon, and edible decorations. So to get started, make sure that your apples are all washed and then you're gonna to wanna to stick your apple with a lollipop stick so you have a nice handle. So the next step is to melt our chocolates. Today I'm using a candy melt which has a little bit of oil right in it. It's gonna help it melt and also set on your apple. If you don't have candy melts, you'll have to temper your chocolate which is way more than most of us have time for. And fortunately, this is just gonna melt in the microwave. Microwave your chocolate at 50% power for one minute. Stir and continue microwaving at 50% power for 30 second increments until your chocolate is all melted. The apple I'm going to show you today is a mummy. So I've melted some dark chocolate and some white chocolate. I have my apple on the stick and the first thing I'm gonna do is dip it into the dark chocolate. I'm using a bowl that's pretty deep because I want a lot of room to work my chocolate onto it. Brooks, you're doing a really good job. I like your method. I dunk it a few times and then put it on some parchment paper so it won't stick. I'm gonna take these really cute eyes and put them right on the center. How many eyes are they gonna have? I'm gonna have me too. I'm gonna let the dark chocolate set for about five to 10 minutes until it's slightly hard and then I'll drizzle my white chocolate on there. The base of my mummy is set. You can tell because when you touch it, you don't leave any fingerprints. So I have my white chocolate melted. I'm gonna put it into a little bag so I can pipe it on there. Okay, he is all done. Every time my mummy comes out differently, and every time he makes me smile. Next up, we have our pumpkin apples. I've gone ahead and already melted our orange candy melts, and I'm gonna dip the apple right in there. For regular and white chocolate, you can actually find organic candy melts, but when it comes to the orange variety, there's really only artificially colored versions. But for special occasions like Halloween, I think it's okay. My chocolate is set, and now I'm using a sparkle black gel to paint on the face. All right, it is all done. I'm not much better at decorating pumpkins than I am at carving them, but at least he's cute. Our last apple is a little bit more sophisticated. It's a gold apple with brook in mind. All right, so my chocolate is melted, and again, I'm just gonna dip my apple in there. For this apple, before the chocolate hardens, I'm gonna sprinkle my gold sprinkles right on there, and I'm gonna use healthy handfuls. Final touch on this apple, I'm gonna use a Halloween ribbon to really spice it up. All right, I love this apple because it's perfect for any adult Halloween party. So there you have it, the three amigos of chocolate apples. I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Oh my goodness, you guys, those are so cute. What, what'd you name them? Ribsy. Ribsy, what about you, Ibs? Kitty Pumpkin. Kitty Pumpkin.